Hi guys, it's Celestial Cristal. Uh, so the video that you're about to watch is a video that was pre-recorded um, November 13, 2020. Now this was my original reading on Kamala Harris with um, psychic YouTuber Intuitive View. I'll put the link in the description below um, if you want to watch the full video. Again, this was at the time in which it was made, so it was right after the 2020 presidential election. But I want you to do a comparison. As of right now, I see Kamala Harris winning the presidency. So I think the best way that you can kind of gauge uh, the comparison between me now and me then is to look at the reading and compare how accurate it was to the current situation in the United States to uh, the situation back then. So again, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Just don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon and I'll see you again soon. Bye. What is the first question that you want to talk about? Well, one of my um, subscribers would like to know what the future is for Kamala Harris, what her what her line looks like, what's going to happen to her, and how she'll do as VP. Okay, so I'm going to use my United States of Tarot deck and the Right Away deck. So okay. here's an answer. Tell me about Kamala Harris. What is the life, or what is the destiny path of Kamala Harris? What is she destined to do in life? What is Kamala Harris? the vice president of the United States destined to become or do in this entire lifetime? What is Kamala Harris destined to do, spirits and angels? What is Kamala Harris destined to do? And so the first card is struggle. Struggle. She has to push through some challenges, breaking the barrier. So Okay, so we do have a lot of problems here. So in the past, she is somebody who is a minority who has to break the barriers, right? She's a woman. Now, a woman is actually not a minority, it's actually a majority, but people treat them like they're a minority. Anyway, we have a black woman, we have an Indian woman, and we also have a woman. And so that's the barrier, that's the break in the wall that she has to do in this lifetime. She also has an opportunity to become president of the United States if she cho chooses to become president of the United States. As you see here, I don't know, she was attorney general, she's a senator, she's a vice president, and in a potential opportunity, she will have the presidency. So I do see there's an opportunity for that if she does choose to take it. However, when she does choose to take it, it will be an incumbent. If she either takes over for the incumbent, because the incumbent can't process anymore, or when she does run, she'll be defeating an incumbent president. So I do see two of those outcomes for her. We do have here, when she does do that, she'll have a lot of funding and a lot of both abundance of whatever it is that she desires to help her get forward in terms of her lifestyle. However, there's going to be a lot of pushback. So it's going to be during a divisive time in American history. And if, if this happens, it does look like it's going to be during a civil war type time period. So I just see that the United States will end up going through civil war as all countries need to do if they want to survive. And so I do see here, there's, a, there's an opportunity for her to, to, she's going to offer something to the country, something new. She knows that this guy who, who's in power right now, this person who's evil, is corrupt. So we will have another corrupt person. Not as bad as Trump though, just so you know. But this person will have no choice but to leave, right? This falls underneath the opportunity for the presidency. So if anything, this tells me that she does have an opportunity here to take over for Biden or someone else, the incumbent, right? So that's what it's also telling me. And then we do have here, um, we do have a lot of opportunity, a lot of achievements, a lot of things that she broke down the barriers. She broke a lot of barriers down, right? And so there's a lot of achievement here, a lot of happiness. If you have here, it's going to be turn election time. It does look like because of all her achievements breaking down the barrier and the, all her achievements because she did it and the offer to become president of the United States, the incumbent's leaving or that she got undefeated in incumbent is all, all hanged on election day. So this is going to be an election. Do you see that? Kam, I always said it. Kamala does not look like she will be president during a Biden administration. More likely, she's going to defeat an incumbent president. We do have here um, the victory card and the card that crosses um, the presidency and the victory card. The, 
the incumbent leaving, and corruption is white supremacy. So this person is white supremacy. So when she comes into this election, it's going to be about black lives and the white supremacy, the rise of white supremacy again. And then here, we do have here, there's a man who's holding on to everything and every, anything I can hold on to, but there's an offer here, right? An offer is to go back to the ways of progressiveness, being kind to one another. One another. And so that's the way it's gonna go. So it looked to me that so this is election day, this is, she's gonna go up against a white supremacist and here's her offering kindness, love and compassion. We do have here that it's gonna be a betrayal, it looks like a betrayal to the incumbent. We do have here, she manifested this into reality and her final outcome will be, um, I don't know what this really means. I, I kind of see this as a retreat card, like this is my coronavirus card, but also like lockdown. So let me just ask for a little clarifier. What's the card that clarifies this uh, four of uh, stories, please? What is the card that represents the four of stories? What is the card betrayal? I don't know what this means. Okay, so it looks like it looks like she wins the popular vote but loses the election. Election, yeah. She loses the election. It looks like if she was to run, she's gonna lose. Only as of right now, things can change. Now, guys, keep in mind this is just for entertainment purposes only, and things can change. Now, she could very well win the election. However. It looks like because of the Electoral College, she has enough votes, but she's betrayed by the Electoral College. So I don't know. I just feel like it's her outcome right now. She does have an opportunity to be present in the future. What do you see, Kim? Okay, so, and my, my, mine are going to be a lot shorter than yours. Because <laughs> oh, I, I just get what I get, and then I give it to you. So, um, so, <laughs> um, so the first thing I heard with her is finds her footing. Um, so I feel like there's going to be a period of adjustment for her when she starts this job. It's going to, it's going to be um, a, a, a kind of an adjustment going from the Senate into this, this job of a VP. Mm -hmm. um, but she finds her footing. She gets, she gets used to it and she is really good at it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like um, she's going to have kind of a, um, people are going to be fascinated with her. I feel like she's, she has a lot of charisma. I feel like people around the world are going to be fascinated with her. She's going to be kind of a, um, a figure that they look at like what she's wearing, what, you know, when she comes, they're really excited to see her. She, I feel like she just has kind of a, um, she casts a spell kind of around the world. People just like her. She's kind of exotic looking, you know, so I think they just kind of, think that um, they kind of are attracted to her um, it, around the world. They're, they're just fascinated with her. And for whatever reason, I do feel like she will be the first female president. I don't know if she'll have two terms, but I, I feel like she'll have at least one. Um, I do. Um, and again, I feel like she, she's, she, the, the United States is very grateful for, to her. I feel like she's going to do something big with education. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure, what, I, and I also feel like she's going to be the first person to bring in uh, universal health care. I think she's the one who's going to do it. Um, she's going to bring in universal health care, and she's going to bring in something great with education, um, young people getting education for really cheap. I, you know, so, <laughs> nice. I, feel, like, I feel like college kids are going to love her um, for whatever she does, um, and I feel like... Um, but I feel like the the country is going to be very grateful for her for a few for a couple of accomplishments she does. But I feel like it's like the world, kind of like Obama. The world kind of likes her. They 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 really appreciate her and are kind of fascinated with her. Um, and it's probably because she's the first female president for you know for. But she's also you know I think she has a lot of charisma. You know a lot like Obama. Um, so I think um, that's what I see for her. Um, I'm sure, you know, she'll, I'm sure she'll have challenges and all these things, but um, I kind of asked for kind of the more positive aspects, because yeah. I do think, she, I'm not sure about her second term, and I know that you're kind of seeing her losing at some point, so maybe she'll lose her second term, but I do see her being the first female president we have, so that's I what I think. Her, like, I do feel like it's stolen, though, it's taken away from her on purpose, so well, yeah. be that, and so uh, I feel like she does win. 
she does a very successful, but it's all hanged on the voter interstate compact, which is really right. all about all the states all allocating all their electoral votes to the popular vote winner. That depends okay. on whether or not they do it.